Did you watch the red horse work? Yeah. I tried to keep Bavazzo from looking at him and <laughs> so I didn't want him to be completely, you know, I didn't want him to go off his feet and be intimidated. <laughs> so we had to be careful. Yeah, but if Bravazzo... I, told, I told Danielle, I said, get over there and when he goes by, just kind of cover that right eye. So that he's got two, he's got two, his efficiency of motion is so good. It is so effortless. And th that work today, I thought he would, I wanted, he could have gone in 50 the way he did it. I mean, it, it was just effortless. There was no effort at all. When you have that efficiency of motion like that, uh, I think the mile and a half is well within his scope. So what could possibly get him be next week? Is it, would it just be the strain of six weeks and a short time catching up to him? I don't see that either. Uh, maybe struck by lightning at the top of the strip. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. It's the I think we're in trouble uh, because I think this horse justified can control the grace. And, uh, <coughs> that that's that's the difference. Um, unless something extraordinary would happen, I think that he can control whatever happens because it's a smaller field, bigger turns. And uh, he's already proved he beat us all twice. So he, he, being able to control the race in the Belmont, I think, has always been the key. At least that's the way I felt. So um, if, if he can control it from a pace angle, if you go with him, he can control it. If he lays back, he can do whatever he wants to do. And uh, that makes him almost unbeatable. He's the best horse. He, he's actually buying into what we're doing pretty good. He's a much better horse than I took to the Preakness. I know that. He'll have to be. I was telling Mr. Kelly yesterday, I said, if Justify is worth $60 million and we're a neck off, are we worth $10 million? <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> I, I think he'll run better in the Belmont, but uh, we we had a different scenario there. We had, you know, we had uh, Good Magic was doing some of the heavy lifting. And uh, so... Our whole strategy was, it, we actually talked about what would happen, and it happened, but I didn't think it would be good magic, I thought it would be somebody else. But I told Louis Saez, I said, if somebody's doing the work for you, just sit up, don't worry about it. I didn't know, I, I didn't, I knew Quip wasn't going to do it, but I thought maybe somebody was going to do it, and sure enough, there goes good magic. And so we were able to, you know, sit back and analyze what was going on in front of us and then make a run. But you can't always expect that. But whenever you run against a superior horse, and he is superior, if you run against a superior horse, you've got to have somebody help you out with it.